Hello guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are coming across our channel for the first time, please do want to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. I came across this video of Robert Engel Jr. talking about the dance moves we have in the world right now. I've come across a lot of dance moves and I'm telling you, some of them I really don't understand them, but I am not going to criticize anybody dancing out and all the rest. But I want you to pay attention to what Robert and Jeno have to say and then let me know your thoughts in the comment section. After listening to what Robert and Jeno have to say concerning dances, I don't want you to click away. I have something important to share with you at the end of this video. Please don't forget, share this video on all social media platforms, share with your friends and loved ones. This video can actually inform somebody, can actually save somebody from destruction. God bless you as you do so. Watch the video. I have good news for you. This revival you see will not be aborted. You must be very wary with the music you listen to. But it is not music alone. It is also the dances you do. There are many dances that in the realm of the spirit, they are demonic offerings unto Satan. The Bible told us, at least so very known. When you get into the nation of South Africa, they have a certain dance. And when they do that dance, their eyes are rolling in the back of their head. <laughs> I'm seeing this person dancing. I said, sister, do you need me to pray for you? I'm telling you, what type of dance requires your eyes to roll back and when they are doing this dance it looks like they are really demonically possessed unbeknown to them they are lifting up offerings unto satan the bible says in the book of second samuel that david danced noticed david danced and the bible lets us know that he was dancing unto the frequency of zion and because of his dance he remained king but because of the dance of his wife she became barren by your dance, you can either become king or baron. You see, the reason why the wife of David persecuted him is because the type of dance that was stylish at that time was not being performed by David. He was doing a dance that only heaven recognized. So because it wasn't conformative to the world and the trend at that time, she said, you embarrassed me. And by her persecuting David, she became barren herself. Her dance left her barren. And David's dance made him remain king. <laughs> Your dancing can take you to hell. Demonic spirits only have power over influence only have power of thoughts so there are demonic spirits that begin to are planted on this earth and they begin to influence other people with these type of dances that begin to be seen as trends and now they are released upon a population of people and they go viral why because the bible says that the devil is the king of the airwaves so the dances he begins to perform they now begin to go viral what is taking place it is a demonic agenda. Certain dances are demonic offerings. They are altar places where these dances are being born. And what demonic spirits do is they plant them on the minds of other Christians. Plant them on the minds of other individuals. And the problem is in the Christendom, we now adopt trends from the world and we bring them into church. What type of dance requires me to face behind? What type of dance requires me to face the opposite side and you see my back? That is a demonic, I'm telling you real stuff. That is a demonically influenced dance. That's why you find people on social media and they are dancing to a song by Tyler. <laughs> and the song says, I won't even repeat the lyrics. I know some of you, you know the song here. Now they're quiet. <laughs> Very quiet. They're here. And the type of dance 
that is connected to that song requires for you to face the other way. Unbeknown to you, it is a demonic offering unto Satan. There are two extremes of spiritual warfare. There are people that believe in spiritual warfare to the extent where they are suffering daily from demonic oppression and demonic spiritual warfare. And then there is another extent, opposite extent of spiritual warfare. Where there are people that don't believe spiritual warfare exists. Both are casualties. Our duty is not to be in the middle. Our duty is to be on the word. What does the word say about it? So David, when he was dancing, his dance was the was he was he he connected to the frequency of heaven. He connected to the frequency of heaven. That heaven was pleased with him. That God said, Your crown it shall remain on your head. But as for your wife that persecuted the inspiration that I planted in you, as for her concerning her, she'll be barren all the days of her life. Some of you are being spiritually barren. Spiritually barren in your place of work. Spiritually barren in your, play, in your educational institutions. Spiritual, bar, spiritual barrenness in every department of your life. Not knowing that it is because one day you gave demonic expression to demons. You let demons influence you. Demonically express, giving expressions to demons. I wish. I wish only a few people here could get this. Just a few people here could get this. I'm sure you have listened to what Obat and the junior have to say concerning dance in this video. You see, I want to explain something to us. You see, there is something I've noticed that we believers do. There is something I have noticed that Christians do. You see, we say that uh, we don't like uh, worldly music. No problem. We say that we don't like secular music, that it is demonic and all that. But I go to churches, I go to church, I, and I see people dancing to, dancing worldly dance. Dancing, using dance steps that worldly people created. Just imagine, for instance, you, do, you say you don't like uh, doing the Buga dance and all the rest. I, I, I think that's the way they do it because personally, I don't know how to dance. So I don't even try to, to, to dance. But I've seen people doing all these dance steps. Just say that, okay, you say you don't like Buga as a song. That Buga is demonic. That Buga is this. You say you don't like uh, what, what are all these uh, other dance steps that just came out. I've forgotten. You say you don't like them. But... When they start playing Christian song, you start doing Buga dance step in church. You that don't like worldly song, but you are dance, dancing worldly song, dance. You don't like worldly song, but you are dancing worldly dance step. See, I want you to know something, man. The devil have, is a trick star. I want you to know it. The devil is a trick star. He has a way of selling the things you think are good to you. I, and I keep saying it, there are lots of good things that are not right. Because something is good does not mean that it is right. Because something is good does not mean that it is right. If you say you don't like worldly song, you don't like worldly music, you don't like secular song, leave their dance steps alone. And I listened to what about Angelina said about one dance. I saw that one and anytime I see that dance move, it, 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 it irritates me. Because of the way they do their eye, they will roll their eyes, it's like they, their eye, eh? the black one will go inside and you'll be seeing only the white one. Personally, I feel that that one is demonic. There is nothing you can tell me. Say I am religious, eh, no problem. But I'm telling you that that one, I feel that it is demonic. Because of the way they do it, they will roll their eyes. You see this, their eye, the black one will go inside, you'll just be seeing just the white one. Because growing up, self, even in, in movies, that is the way we see they do witches and wizards and all the rest. I, I'm not saying that uh, witches and wizards actually do that, but for me, I feel that that particular dance move is demonic. Some of us may not understand it. Because, you see, the Bible made us understand that, that the things of God, that it is foolishness to men. Some of us, if we start talking like that, you are too religious. I know. Me, I am not a religious person, but you see, I will always tell you the truth about certain things. I will always tell you the truth about some of these things. When it comes to God and when it comes to life, there is nothing like a being neutral. I've always said it. It is either left or right, good or bad. There is nothing, there is nothing about being neutral. 
If you are not serving God, you are serving the devil. If you are not serve, if you are not praising God, you are praising the devil. There is nothing like I'm in the middle. I've heard people say that we have secular music, we have a, a gospel music, and we have a inspirational. There is nothing like that. It is either left or right, good or bad. We live in a world of duality, up or down, right or wrong, good or bad, hot or cold. That is the, there is nothing like a, I know people say warm. Even the Bible wonder that we should not be lukewarm. You see, if you want to be here, be here. If you want to be here, be here. Don't say I'm in the middle. There is nothing like a middle ground when it comes to spiritual things. If you are not uh, uh, um, for God, you are for Satan. There is no two ways about it. You cannot tell me that I'm in the middle. I don't I don't belong to God. I don't belong to Satan. I'm just at the middle. There is nothing like middle ground, my dear. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. It is true that at the moment we have, yes, you can say we have so many fake prophets, we have so many fake pastors that are trying to do negative things against the body of Christ. But if you study your Bible, I keep saying it, if you study your Bible very well, you will know that even the Bible said it, God said it. He said that on the last day, many fake prophets are going to arise and deceive many. And if you look at what is happening in the world right now, you will see that all these prophets, all these pastors, they are even encouraging their members to be doing these dance moves in church to entice more people. They use it to get the youth. All they are interested in is crowd. So you can come and do anything, dress any how you want to dress, look any how you want to look, and just come to church. All we just need is your offering and your tithe. God has forgiven your past, your future, your present, your all your sins. God has forgiven you. You can do all what you want to do. You have been forgiven. Uh -uh. Listen, be wise, use your head. Because God has forgiven your sin, they actually ask Paul that question. If God has forgiven our sin and all the rest, does it mean we should continue in sin? He said what? God forbid. We, we, are, we are not in a world where pastors no longer tell their members truth. They will see a Yahoo boy bringing offering to their church. As long as he's bringing money, he will never tell the Yahoo boy this thing you are doing is bad so that the Yahoo boy will not leave. Well, how about you calling these people to order? If they want to leave, they should leave. Say the truth and let the truth you have said set you free. And also set the person free too. But we're not living in a world where as long as you are bringing the money, we are not going to preach against you. Just bring the money. And all we can tell you is that God has forgiven your sin. Ah, my brother, try and be doing it like this small, small now. That is all we do. We try to pamper sin. We try to pamper error. That is what we do. You will see people dancing that are doing their hair like that. I don't even know how they even manage to roll their eyes like that. Sometimes I ask myself, how are these people, how are they able to even do some of these things? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. And we call it what? Cruise. What a beautiful name. The devil have a way of packaging sin. Eh? He will make it look very interesting and very nice. But see, there are always going to be good things that are not right. Because it is good does not mean it is right. Because something is good does not mean it is right. We need to learn all these things, understand all these things. Some of them, they dance in a very possessed way. I've seen different dance moves and I ask myself, how can I even imagine myself even dancing some of all these, things, these dance moves? How? Some of them, you, you see the way they move like, like skeletons, like dead bodies, they, the way they carry themselves. So I don't understand how we got to this point, though, but as a believer, I, I'm, I, I'm here to at least advise you. I am not a pastor, but I am telling you, based on the little word of God that I know, that some things are not for you. The Bible made us to understand that all things are lawful. But all things are not expedient. You see, you can actually do all things, but it is not all things that suits you as a believer. All things that is not good for you. You are not supposed to be doing everything you see people doing. It is important for you to understand these things. It is important for you to understand it. That everything you see is not for you. It is not all dance moves you see that is for you. I don't even want to talk about music. Some of you say, oh, what is wrong with music now? What is wrong with music now? Go and read your Bible very well. You will see that in the Bible, when King Saul was possessed of, of demon, David would play music, a, a music instrument for him, and demon will leave him. And I'm telling you that if music, if instrument can drive away demon, music can also introduce demon. Just take it. Let me just stop here about that because I'm not here to talk about music. 
I'm not here to talk about music. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about music. So as Christians, if we are there condemning, this one, this one is worldly song. This one is secular song. We don't like it. We are not going to do it. Then let us stop dancing to worldly dance. Any dance step that the worldly people introduce, we pick it up. If you can da uh, 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 dance their dance moves, also play their music. If we can dance worldly dance, the, the dance moves introduced by these worldly people, these secular musicians in the church, we should also be playing their music in the church because there is no difference. If you can do Buga in the church, you can also play Buga music in this church. It's important for us to understand all this and let us stop pampering error. Say uh, using uh, the you don't understand, you don't understand, you are, you are, you are being religious, you are not being that, you are pampering error. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Let us call a spade a spade as believers. It's not everything we see we jump on. It's not everything we see we call trend, cruise. Cruise is destroying a lot of people. People are going to hell and you are busy doing cruise. People are being destroyed daily. You are busy doing cruise. It's well. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do well to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you return a subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. I appreciate the support you give us on this channel. Thank you for always sharing our content, liking our videos, and thank you for everything you do for us on this channel. God bless you. May God reward you. May God supply you as you have been supporting us. Don't forget to share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and loved ones. And don't also forget to like the video and drop a comment. By doing this, you trigger the YouTube algorithm to continue to spread this video to more people. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Never. This revival you see will not be aborted.